you need to be taken by administrator to mitigate attacks. Uh, that include uh, non-technical measures, which I refer to the experience of the administrators, and the other one is the technical measures, which is uh, your backup policy, anti-attack plan on your recovery systems. Okay, I'm going to discuss about motivation factors behind DOS attacks and impact of DOS attacks. <coughs> First of all, motivation factors. The growth of technology and increase in the accessibility of internet has resulted in increase in the computer crime, and DOS attack is one of them. People with criminal minds can have various motives behind such attacks. We can divide these motives into four categories, financial benefits, self supremacy or boredom, revenge, and information warfare. Financial benefits. <laughs> Many of the attacks leaders are done for the financial benefits. Criminal targets cooperation with distributed DOS designed not to disrupt business networks, but to extract thousands of dollars from them. This is sort of a blackmailing. And the worst thing is that victimized organizations mostly do not acknowledge these kind of attacks. Thus, it's making it, uh, awareness of this problem very limited and results in less prosecution. Uh, another motive, another popular motive behind the DOS attack is a called self supremacy of boredom, and mostly people with lower skills uh, do attacks out of this uh, motive, and they what they try to do is usually try to uh, uh, usually they try to impose themselves as best in their own communities. Revenge. Revenge is another popular motive behind DOS attacks. Attackers try to deliver punishment out, the, out of their own skills for any injustice done to them. An example is an incident which happened in July 2003. A customer of British Telecom took down three servers of British Telecom through a DOS attack for nearly almost four hours because he was not happy with the policy of the company to disconnect users after a certain period of time. Information warfare. Most of the attacks these days are done for political reasons, terrorism, and online protests, etc. They are mostly directed towards the government organizations and other critical infrastructures. An example is in May 2004, the incident happened that Chinese hackers took down whitehouse.gov for nearly three hours because they were protesting against the uh, an accidental US bombing on Chinese embassy in Belgrade. Now we'll look at impacts of DOS attacks. DOS attacks have, can have severe impacts of any, on any organization. According to a Oscar survey in 2005, DOS attacks were faced by nearly 14% of the company. But the thing is, financial losses due to these attacks were 53% of the total losses in that year due to computer crimes, uh, which is nearly $4.6 million. Uh, this is another graph taken from CSI FBI Computer Crime and Security Survey for 2006, and it shows that denial of service tax was loss of nearly three million dollars in the United States, which is still quite a large amount. Now, consequences of the DOS attack can be categorized into two types, like tangible or financial consequences, or intangible consequences. Uh, financial consequences can involve the loss of revenue if the company's primary source of revenue is from internet then in case of a DOS attack this revenue will be adversely affected and if the DOS attack lasts for a longer period of time it will affect the whole business of the organization then there can be contractual violations Disrup uh, disruption of services may often result in organization failure to meet service level agreements with the customers and hence uh, in the end company may end up paying serious financial and legislative penalties to these customers Service provider expenses. In case of a DOS attack, most of the organizations need to contact their upstream providers to detect and stop these DOS attacks. Upstream providers uh, usually consider this as additional services <coughs> and they may charge organizations very heavily to provide such services. Then there is a disaster recovery cost involved. The process of recovering from disaster created by DOS attacks involves uh, human resource, which can be hired internally or externally. Whether internal or external, there will always be monetary costs involved with uh, human resource. Now, intangible consequences. Intangible consequences are far more important than the financial ones, and they can even 
plays a role of deciding of the organization's future. Some of the important ones are third party damages. Dog attacks often result in the collapse of a network upon which various other business organizations and business partners are depending. Uh, this can affect the, their business relationships and the company can lose its business partners and associates. Morale. Sta stable networks always provide a pleasant environment and place to work for employees where they feel motivated. If the outages become too frequent, it will decrease the morale of the employees as they think they are unable to perform or complete their assigned tasks because of these outages. Brand name damage. Customer loyalty in this era of competition is very important to any organization and it directly depends upon the reliability and availability of the services. DOS, affect, uh, DOS attacks affect the reliability and availability of the services, providing enough reasons for the customer to shift their loyalties to other competitors. And once the company starts losing its customer, its survival will become very difficult. Human losses. If the, if the DOS attack is uh, directed towards the critical organizations, like emergency services, health services, weather services, flight services, uh, it can have serious impact on the social life of the people and it can even result in the loss of human lives. Now the last point is third, uh, trustworthiness of e-commerce. If the DOS attacks become very frequent on e-commerce side, uh, then it can have very serious impacts on the growth of e-commerce and consumer will start losing faith and confidence on, uh, on using e-commerce services and they may, they may start going back to the traditional e-commerce system. That was all from my part. Now my partner will take it towards the end of the presentation. Thank you. Uh, while you going to have uh, know what the attack is and uh, what the impact it can cause, we are now going to see what the solutions we can do. This part we are going to discuss both the technology level and the business level on the solution. <coughs> on the traditional level, in the uh, in the traditional ways, there are majorly two ways. First is the black hole. When the attack happens, the server.